First of all, uh, we are Lorenzo and Albert. We are part of the part-time web development course. Uh, well, basically, this is basic shapes. It's, let's say, a way to create dynamic and seamless uh, documentation for teams so they can communicate easily. And basically, what you do there, it just creates some categories, creates some pages, and afterwards, you can commit the change. So it appears just in front of your, uh, let's say, home, right? Uh, so every single mate in your team knows what has changed. OK, so we can just upload images, upload text, upload everything we want. So there we have. There we have our uh, higher high categories. We have our team details, our different categories with pages, with files, members in the in that category that, that can be part of. So basically, it's based on a CMS, okay, a content management system, or a WYSIWYG. Which we haven't both the license for yet. Yeah, so it's unlicensed. So, yeah. so a message yeah, that's, there. That's because what? you have the red thing there. Yeah, but well, it just works. I mean, you can <laughs> upload as much content as you want, create the page, commit the changes, and it appears just in front of you. Uh, so everyone will see the changes, OK? Um, well, it, it's pretty much everything we've done <laughs> there. We can upload everything from videos, images. Uh, we can add even code there. And it's, well, it helps a lot I mean, between teams. Imagine you're an incubator with a lot of startups. So you can have a different category for each team with design, uh, typography, I don't know, code components there. So you can see real progress in your uh, own startups. So the idea there is that you, um, when you work like a big enterprises, but even small yep. startups, you often have uh, the needs to create guidelines for internal use. And at the same time, you might have the need to create guides for your products to be used. Um, what we have created is a content management system that has a yep. vertex plane kind of help you through all this process uh, by a, a, a quite simple organization. This is like everybody has a few teams. Uh, in the teams, there are categories, and every category has got a few uh, pages. And then not all categories are available to all team members, but it's quite easy to add one if you want. And the idea is that uh, this pages are private, but in the near future, yeah. We'll be able to put them public, so you can have a public URL to share that to, uh, I don't know, your customers or whatever. Just, um, yeah. I mean, just even to pay public. Let's say you build an API and you want to create the guides for your API and you want to put that online. So you do through our CMS, which is basically focused for that. It's very easy to build, and then you will like toggle and create like a public page where all the API instructions will get. And um, the concept of the edits and commits, um, we have basically a list of all the edits at the bottom. Uh, these are the edits, so you can actually go and see like previous version of the same guide. That's and awesome. Of the same <laughs> work. And you have um, commits. Uh, commits are, we're not, it's not in a programming sense of, so, so yeah. for all the developers here, we're not committing in a GitHub yeah. sense. Uh, no conflicts here. It's, it's, <laughs> it's uh, saying that you commit the changes you've done, um, the point you have got to, the, with the, to all your team. So it's more the semantic uh, conception of committing. Uh, but we like the word and, you know, or GitHub and Ironac and all It's that. so cool. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> and so the idea was, is not implemented yet, but then uh, you'll have your uh, profile here and I uh, get notifications. So every time that uh, somebody say uh, make a like th th there is a possibility of communication and everybody that somebody commits you'll get a, a notification that somebody committed and then of course you'll see it on your feed but then we know that people are not I mean not yet using basic shapes that much so we found yeah. this little nice app called Slack 
and we've integrated our commits into Slack. So this is the commit we've just done, and it brings you back to the page. So you can, see what you can basically so integrate uh, your Slack with your app, and uh, one day you won't need that, but at yeah. the minute, that's, that's pretty much it. And yeah, this is built on Rails. Just two words on the stack. This is built on Rails. Uh, it makes uh, extensive use of AX calls for the uh, in-page edit, like here, because it's faster. Like but it? uh, part of that is basically yeah. Rails and then Albert design on a uh, very simple framework called Skeleton we found online, uh, which yeah. is uh, developed by Mozilla people. And that's pretty much it. Yep. We nailed it. <laughs> we nailed it. <laughs> we nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> we nailed it. <laughs>